Okie dokie boys, it's that time of the year again. Gauss Prime's released. If you guys are watching after the 17th, obviously this is how to farm Gauss. If you guys are farming before it, I'll show you guys a couple things that you guys could do right before he gets released to have the biggest edge. I do encourage everybody to watch the video all the way through. Obviously, I'm going to share with you guys some tips that have not changed for years. I'm going to break up the video into three segments. This is what I'm a huge advocate for literally year round do your syndicates this is game time this is what we've been grinding our syndicates for the entire time if you save your standing if you save your medallions which by the way if you guys don't save your medallions when you guys are doing these missions every day hopefully you're doing these uh syndicate missions every day if you aren't saving them you're dumb as hell boy you need to start saving them you really need to because this is super super powerful the medallions, I know that it says that you can only have 132,000 max standing and you may have your daily standing cap and you may have gone past it. Your medallions will still count after your daily cap. So you, in theory, could cash in an unlimited amount of standing on these relic packs. The thing with those relic packs is as soon as Gauss Prime is in the game, He's in the relic packs. So as soon as he's in, just buy all the relic packs and you'll be you'll be goaded. The other thing that you guys can do if you guys are watching the video before he actually is released is grind these void traces. So right now I'm almost max. I'm only 40, 40 traces away from max. This, I'm going to be replenishing void traces because I have a resource booster. So I gain about 50 void traces per run. Uh, it's hard to say, but it's probably going to end up lasting me about 24 rad shares. So those are a couple of the things that I would say. And remember, you can do this with almost every st uh, every faction in the game. So make sure that you guys do this with any faction that you're actually able to buy relic packs from. And then obviously you got Teshin with Steel Essence as well. Now, for those of you guys, you guys probably skipped to this point in the video. I'm just going to say you might want to go check the previous segment because it was kind of important, but I'm just going to get right into it. If you guys are looking to get relics quickly, this is how I'm going to be farming my relics when I run out of mine. Hepit for Lith. I mean, it's been like this. This has been the bread and butter for Lith relics for years and years and years, and it probably will be if they don't change much about the game. Um, I would also go to Uko because this is a fast mission. Both of these missions you can do in about a minute and you'll be getting a relic a minute. Hepit is exclusively Liths only. Uko is Meso and Neo. So if you need both of those relics, Uko is a good choice. Now, however, if you are trying to get a specific relic, I would do these disruption missions. Disruption, super, super strong. I'm going to show you guys the loot table for all of these missions that I'm going to recommend, but there's an even more important table that you guys need to learn, and it is defending the conduits. So if you defend a certain number of conduits, that will actually dictate what your reward is. And you can cheese that. You can choose what rewards you get every single time. You just have to follow this chart. So if you are going to Olympus, you want to get a B or a C reward. With Olympus, if you want mesos, you just blast them all. Just keep as many towers up as you can and you'll be fine. Now, however, if you want to farm Neos, I recommend Sedna. Kappa on Sedna, but you have to do B rotation. Here's the loot table for this. Make sure you guys are following that table. It is very, very important. And then this is no secret either, Lua. If you do not have Lua, you probably shouldn't be farming prime access like as aggressively as you need to or want to be. You should probably be unlocking your star chart. But Apollo is an amazing, amazing mission. And... <clears throat> this is this is like the bread and butter. This is the best place in the game to get axes. I feel like this is this is absolutely killer. Every couple minutes you get an axe relic. Now, with C rotation, this is very important. With C rotation, you'll see that you get a couple pieces of junk that add up to whatever like 13%. This hurts your relic um per hour. I mean, it depends. If you're doing B rotation really slowly, then maybe doing C rotation won't really matter too much. But if you are efficient with it, doing C rotation, you're going to be losing out on Axie Relics because there's not a, just a table full of Axie Relics like there is on B rotation. So you might as well um, do B rotation. Now, as I go through the mission, I will tell you this. I typically let the first two conduits die and then I defend the last two conduits. And that's how I do it fairly quickly. I mean, by the time I get done defending the last two conduits, typically the first two have blown up. 
and I get a guaranteed B rotation. So that's that's where I would be farming. Obviously, there's a bajillion million nodes that you guys can go to. If you guys have a favorite that you guys find, let me know down in the comments. Go ahead, do me a favor, leave a like on the video. And if you guys can go ahead and share this with a buddy, that would be much appreciated. So for the third part, I'm gonna be giving away a bunch of Gauss Prime sets tomorrow over on my Twitch channel. Yes, I do stream over there, big shocker. Um, we're gonna have a good time. It's free to enter. So if you guys want to, you guys go over there, you watch the channel, you get channel points, and then you use those channel points to redeem tickets. And then it's a raffle system and I will just raffle off names. I'll probably do it where I'll farm as many sets as I can and then we'll raffle off that many names. So that way people aren't wasting their tickets and then we won't have any duplicate winners as well. If you guys are interested in any other videos like to watch on your side monitor while you're uh, grinding, I did just upload a guide on all the tips that I would give new players. So go ahead and give that a watch if you guys are interested. Good luck boys. Hopefully you guys get the set and I will see you guys over on Twitch.